Watch this! Ultimate God. Watch your... Careful, guys. I'd rather this be a first mate, but I think it's just fine because if it's a uh, odd rogue, I need to get something on board and do his, uh... yeah, and do his pirates. Well, that is a first mate, so. Ah, uh, we keep this, or we keep the weapon charge rather. Is this a good matchup for me? Um, I don't know. I haven't played this deck in a while. I think this is a good hand for me, at the very least. I don't know if I play the deck hand, though, because I want to be able to deal with it. No, I can deal with his... Uh... If he, uh, if he, like, coins a 3, so it would only be SI that he would do that for. But if he coins an SI, I can still take care of it. If he just daggers, it's fine. I can play the frothing and deal with his thug after the fact. With the, uh, the heroic strike. I want to be able to draw into a bigger weapon, so I'm fine, um, using a charge there. Honestly, Thug isn't very good for him. That's pretty good for him. Ha, this guy's toast. Yeah. That was a good turn. I think I just want to dome him. Like, his turn 4 is going to be weak, especially after using the coin. He probably has to double trade into this. I could have just gone full face and saved the uh, the girl for next turn, but I think this is better. Don't worry, love. The cavalry's here. Oh, it's a race you want. Plays around Fungal Man to uh, silence Bump. Um, in that case, we're taking the value trade here as well. Your magic shall not save you. The good news is that uh, Odd Rogues cannot run Galaka Crawler, so we got that going for us. He needs Vile Spine here, and even then it's probably not enough. I could have considered just going full face, uh, or playing the cannon and going face. Oh, that is uh, a desperation play. I have a lot of outs for lethal anyway. He could have gotten the value trade is the reason for not uh, leaving up the, the thug. And then that could potentially snowball out of control. Cubs fan! Oh man, this guy plays Galaka Crawlers in his deck too. I want to find a one-drop pirate that I can coin out. It's a one-drop pirate I can coin out. I think I'm going to play this on one because it sets up nicely into the um, the cannon coin pirate. It takes out a totem, possibly a totem golem, if, um, if he has that on two. And then I just get to clear... Oh no, this is just fine. 
He rolled the wrong totem. Life tap, sure. I don't have much to do after I make this coin play. Really? Okay. Hit one, please. That was annoying. That was a quick concede. Um, okay. I mean, he had a favorable matchup and wasn't in that bad of a spot. He's probably just upset because the Cubs got eliminated early. Okay. Uh, so against Umbari, who's running a greedy uh, list, we probably want some ones. Just want, like, damage. This is damage. This is also a really good curve, right? Do I smack him? I think I smack him because I want to. I want to upgrade something else. Wait, no, I don't smack him because that was, yeah, that was dumb. That was actually a, a bad play. Because of this is the follow up. Still a little bit upset about that early draw, or that early swing. Yeah, what a what a combo breaker. All right, give me life tap. Thank you. Shadow Word Horror is still pretty good for him here. Do I want to clear that? No. I guess I could clear it for the um, the captain, but I think it's fine. Wow, that is a terrible draw. Uh, this was maybe better. Oh. Just because it gave me outs for lethal. Maybe I should have strapped this one on. No. Here 
That is a lot of death spite. I think we can still get there. Life tap is carrying for sure. If 10 goes up to 15, it's unlikely that we get there next turn. Unless he can't clear both of these. This is potential burst damage next turn. He's got to trade into it. Ho! Oh! Didn't play around the Pyroblast. Thank you.